Welcome back guys. In this episode, we drag this 49 Chevy out of a barn, get it running, paint it blue for the first step of a patina paint job. Thank you for watching the TDC Heart Rods YouTube channel. Back. So we are getting, oh, that is really close. We are getting started on this old Chevy. And so it sat in a barn for like four years. They did, they, it has been ran and drove quite a lot before then, but then it sat for a few years. And uh, so today we're going to get it running and driving, and then we're gonna take it down and uh, clean all that junk off and try to spray all that off. And under the hood, it actually looks pretty good. It, Luckily, the engine has, I mean, the truck has been gone through at one point in time. So it shouldn't take much at all to get this bad mamba jamba running. But we're going to spray all this off and clean it all up. And then clean up the outside of it. And the plan with this is to do a real quick patina paint job on it. Because the owner... Um, got colon cancer and uh they told him that he only has 30 days to live so we're gonna try to make this thing look as awesome as we can and at least take him for a couple of rides in it before anything happens uh before he passed away hopefully he'll live for a couple more years but we never know so we're gonna hurry and see what we can do with it but the body is rough it is very rough you see all the dents and it's rusty down here and there and rust all down there and the floorboard has some tin put on it but it's just rusty it's it's definitely not clean but i think we can make it look super awesome it's got all kinds of little brackets welded on it and you see like here the beds the bed's a little a little rough the tailgate's rough the sides of the bed it's just riddled with little dents like you can't really see it here but the fend every fender the back of the cab the top of the cab the hood the the tailgate every single thing on it is just absolutely riddled with dents so the plan is we're just gonna hammer out all of the big dance like can you see the crease in the door right here the door is smashed in you definitely can't miss the fender so we're going to hammer out all of those the best we can and then we're going to just hammer and dolly it and then we're going to sand it all and we're going to put some brown paint down and then some baby blue paint over it let it sit for a few days and then um, wet sand it and give it a nice patina job um, I think that'll look super awesome and kind of go with the old, the old school look of it. But today we're just going to get started on getting it running and driving, which shouldn't take much at all because it wasn't that long ago that it was running. And then clean it all up and then get started on all the body work. So we're going to get to it. I can ask you, do we know for sure what year it is? 49. It is 49. Yep. Can't find the key to the old girl, so we're temporarily hot wiring it. Set up the ignition switch. That's the technical terms. Yeah, that's it. Is. So we can get her pressure washed, start doing a little body work. Yeah, my grandpa's not doing well with cancer, and this is his truck, and we're gonna try to get it somewhat put together rat rod style so he can drive it a little bit and it can be clean. You gotta send power to the coil. Doesn't help. Alright.
bit since we actually started. We put a fuel filter in it and that fuel line was plugged, which is probably why they quit running it. And we ended up pulling the drain plug out and putting a T in because the actual feed line, I mean the pickup tube in the tank is completely plugged, like all the way plugged up. So most likely that's why they parked it. But we put this T, I mean this 90 in there. Uh, and now we got fuel and it seems to be running great. We knew it ran good. We knew it ran good when it was parked. Uh, just didn't remember why they parked it. So now we can go take it down and clean it all up and get started on the bodywork. All right guys, we uh, got her all pressure washed and back to the shop. And so we have already been playing with, you can see a door handle there. We've been playing with the doors. We got them um, opening and closing so much better, both sides. Um, and so now what we decided to do is we got, a, we got a game plan. We were trying to get a good idea about how we should go about getting this project done as fast as we need it to. And we decided that we're gonna paint the interior first. Um, it's gonna be really basic, really quick and dirty in comparison to what I'm normally doing. But um, this will be sweet. It'll be very patina rat rowdy. I think it'll be awesome. So this is what we have now on the inside. Somebody has already come in here and strip 99%, 99.5% 99 of all the paint off everything. So we're gonna pull the seat out. The owner's grandson, Hayden is his name. So Hayden would kind of like to paint the gauges um, just cause they're all, like you can't really, they, they, most of them all work, but you can't really see anything. So he wants to pull the lenses off and paint all the letters. So we're, I'm gonna go ahead and pop those out now. And then we're gonna take a wire wheel to stuff like this. Like there's some lead in there. There's a little bit of paint still left in here that's chipping. So we're gonna wire wheel it and then we'll sand all the surface rust that started to show up. You can kind of see this little surface rust on there. And then we're gonna strip everything down, mask off all the windows and then epoxy it and paint it. Um, this would be real, real simple. But anyways, we're gonna get back to it.
All right, guys. So we got this front dent, pu dent pushed out as much as we're going to. Um, we're not trying to make it perfect at all. I see that somebody else has already been in there with some Bondo. Um, and we found a couple Bondo spots in other places. That wasn't a very good repair, but this paint job, this paint job is by far the proper way to do it. Um, but we're on a time restraint. And not only that, that's not the reason why, we're trying to make it very patina and look old school. Um, so you guys won't see the patina part in this video when I patina it, but that will be in the uh, next one about this truck. But we got all of it sanded down and it really shows how rough the body is. There's just, there's dents all over the place, but this thing is gonna turn out super awesome, especially for as cheap as we're doing it. Um, we can't wait. Um, anyways, so we got the whole entire body all sanded. So now we're gonna come in here, like normally, I would pull all the windows out. Like on a normal customer job, all the windows would come out, the bed would come off, the running boards would come off. It would just be stripped down. But we're not gonna do that on this one. We're gonna mask the inside and the outside and the inside of all the windows. Um, so both this side and that side, mask anything in the dash we don't want covered. We'll put a little bit of plastic down on the bottom. And then we'll come in here and mask off the frame, the running boards, all the tires and stuff. Get it all fully masked off. And uh, then we're going to spray a sealer primer and on the inside, act, well, so my sealer that I'm using is, um, oh man, my mind's gone blank. Think, think, think. Ah, uh, epoxy. I'm using epoxy primer that's reduced down a little bit as a sealer. So I'll put that on first to cover up all these bare metal spots. Cause I don't want to just put paint over the bare metal. Even, even as cheap as we're doing this, I don't want to put paint overall just right over all this bare metal you need some epoxy primer in there to seal everything off so we'll do epoxy primer first on the whole thing and then the inside is just going to get some white sealer and and baby blue well it, it's a little bit different than baby blue but it's blue on the outside it's getting sealer with brown and then over the brown is blue and then when we go to do the uh, patina we can sand through the blue into the brown so it looks we can make it look like a factory patina in the doors hood fender area stuff like that um anyways so we're going to get to masking so then we can spray this thing we'll see you in the next clip all right guys it is all masked up so I didn't mention this before. Well, what I did mention before is that we were gonna paint the interior first and then I was gonna mask it all off and spray the outside. Well, I started thinking about it, especially because the way that we're painting it, we're not stripping the truck all the way down. We're not doing a, a concourse paint job. We're doing a quick patina. Anyways, we decided to spray the whole entire truck all at one time. So. Um, as you can see, in here, we have everything all masked off inside and out. We wear it all the way around. We still got ma I'm still gonna mask off the steering wheel and obviously take some of my stuff out of there. But, she's all masked off, ready to go. So, I'm going to, uh, go wet down the floor and cover up some stuff over on the wall and uh, we're gonna get to spray it. I forgot, I was gonna mention to you guys how we have prepped this so far. So there was quite a few places, kind of like this one here where there's lead. Somebody else has been in here welding. Um, so I took and just smoothed some of it back. Obviously it's not super smooth but that's fine for what we're doing. So I just smoothed everything back and then everywhere that already has primer on it, which somebody else put the primer on it years and years ago. 
Um, I just hit it with 320 and scotch bright. And then what I'm going to put on it now is um, epoxy primer, which I use as a siller. And then on top of that, I'll put the paint over it. So it'll just seal everything up. It'll seal up all of this bare metal and all the bare metal that's in there. That way it won't try to rust back out. Cause yeah, we are trying to make it look a little bit rustier patina, but we don't want actual more rust than what it already has. Cause it's already pretty rusty. Um, yeah, anyways, so I'm gonna get to paint. All right, so we got the brown sprayed on there. As you can see, it's not everywhere. Um, I may go back and put one more light coat on the entire truck, but we were only thinking of having the patina show through in the spots where the brown is. So not necessarily down there on the door, just on the tops of the fenders, the tops of the bed, the back of the cab, the top of the back of the cab. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, so the brown's all sprayed, so I was going to just spray the blue right over the top of it, but I've been thinking the blue will be a lot more vibrant if I put a touch of white down before the blue. Plus, I think when we sand it through, it would look super sweet to see those colors there. So I sprayed the brown. I'm pretty sure I'm, I need to, because I haven't sprayed the inside yet, except for a touch of brown there so then we can do a little patina on the dash but i'm going to spray white sealer on the whole entire thing in there just so then the door panels and stuff are are really vibrant blue um so i think i might take a little bit of that same white and touch in a couple of places around the truck i think that would look super good before i spray the blue on it um and let's see almost dry enough I can go ahead and do that so I'm gonna get to it okay guys we got the blue all put on as you could see in the time lapse, we put a uh, brown down and then a little bit of white and then the blue. It's all sprayed on the inside, which is looks super awesome. So next we're gonna come in and patina the fenders, but that is gonna be on the next video. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.